Well, we're in this room. I need to cube that. Is it as simple as standing here, dropping this, and yanking that? And doing that? Yeah, I suppose we'll find out, right? Yo, oh no. Who the hell are these guys? Are these new dudes? Whoa, they can throw grenades! And they're fast. Eh? Not fast enough. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, all right, this is fine. Oh, Lord. Oh! That would have been cool. Got him. Down below. Oh, come on now. Give me those bits. Officer. Airborne Rangers. Oh, cool. We needed new ones. All right. So besides the... Ooh, we got uh, new multimedia. Backspace. Oh, this was the billable hours. Yeah, all right, we got that. What was this one? Oh, was this the uh, the third thing? The resonance carves its way through the thing that had been Hartman, vibrating, remolding. The sound changes the darkness, and the darkness changes the sound. They both change what remained of Hartman. They all turned into something else. A third thing. The sound made darker. The darkness made louder. Hartman was stretched. Stretched as anyone when seen from out of time, like a worm through time. Almost an Ouroboros, a spiral. What? A what does this thing look like? The black hole, twisting inward, tightening, taking you deeper and deeper to the bottom, the heart, and through to the other side. The third thing said, when you hear this, you will know you're a new you. He said, we build you till nothing remains. He said, under the conceptual reality behind this reality, you must want these ways to drag you away. He said, baby, 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 yeah, orange peel. The third thing was a monster. Yeah, he was. He'd tear apart any ordinary <laughs> person crossing his path. Now he crashed out of darkness toward Faden. No! There was nothing ordinary about Faden. Anyone who says baby, baby, yeah, orange peel? Monster. Terrible creature. Also, it wasn't what I wanted to do. But now I can see, so finding these kinds of things is going to be super easy. All right. Uh, we might as well just clear the floor then, right? Before we go look around. Agent Fisher, day six inside the motel. Utilized surveillance methods are as follows. Fiber optic cameras slid under the individual room doors. Motion detectors in the lobby area. Tripwire, triggering a flash camera across the main entrance, even fingerprint powder on the front desk. Results are varying at best. But mostly just... inconclusive and unusable. The footage is corrupted. Sometimes even the equipment is bad. I don't know how exactly. I uh, I think this place is making fun of me. That's the only explanation. I, I can hear them laughing and screaming behind the closed doors. I can hear the call bell going ding multiple times a day, but when I look, there's no one there. I know I'm supposed to stay out of sight, but I've seen the doors closing just before I can catch even a glimpse of anyone or anything. They're messing with me, whoever they are. I think. Wait, shh. There's something. I gotta get this. Gotta get the cable out. 
Come on, you fiber optic fuck, cooperate. Okay, here we go. And then it's still going. This time, or I swear to God, I'm... What? Hello? Who's there? Oh, shit. I'm with the FBC. Move away from the door. I have a... Where's my... Uh... Is it over for real this time, or... I'm sure that guy's fine. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. He probably just took the recorder instead of the gun, which is why he was still talking. We'll clear this side just to be sure. I made it way messier than it should have been, but here we are. Okay. And then there was... Kirkland. So you put me on desk duty because I did the thing I was fucking hired to do? My job? You want to know what I call that? Bullshit. Asking us to interrogate these scum without using words like altered items or AWEs or paracriminal is the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life, and I've heard some fucking stupid things. They already know the facts. Hell, they know just as much as us, if not more. And they get to sit there laughing at us while we dance around the words trying not to leak classified terminology. They already know the fucking terminology. If you think pulling me off the case will stop me, then think again. That piece of shit blew up those tracks. He killed those people. All to make the train turn altered. We have him dead to rights and you need to let me back in that interrogation cell so I can flip him on his buddies. These people are terrorists and deserve to be treated as such. This won't stop unless we stop them. You can go ahead and put me on suspension. See if that slows me down. Agent Hewitt. Again. Are they setting up, like, Control 2? Because I would love to see Jesse Faden take on a terrorist organization that uses paranatural items. Holy crap. That sounds like a ton of fun. Sounds like a game I'd play. Following the NASA-FBC Coordination Agreement of 1972, the Bureau has provided NASA with numerous technological advancements based on our research, including the black rock lining now found in all spacefaring vessels. In return, all data gathered during space missions is made available for Bureau researchers to analyze. Recently, certain individuals have raised the concern that this relationship does not adequately benefit the Bureau, either intellectually or financially. A thorough examination of the costs accrued by both organizations has shown that the expense of NASA's recent launch of the blank far outweighs any spending related to the processing and delivery of BlackRock. From its medium Earth orbit, the blank will provide the Bureau with an unparalleled resource for remotely monitoring and photographing AWE sites, a resource that would be lost if the partnership ends. It is the opinion of this committee that maintaining a cooperative relationship with our colleagues at NASA is of vital importance. Well, obviously, NASA's in on all the conspiracies. Please. Black Market. Oh, this is gonna be good. A black market hub specializing in the trade of occult talismans, relics, and other assorted ceremonial objects, as well as genuine altered and paranatural materials, was raided in blank Czech Republic by a team of special investigators. Unsuccessful attempts by suspects to escape using altered items resulted in numerous casualties and prevented the Bureau from questioning all participants. The following interrogations revealed that not only is there a vast network of these retailers, but that they seem to be gathering information on altered items and other paranatural materials from sources unknown to the Bureau. The Bureau's concern here is threefold. A. There is a growing underground market for paranatural materials, which implies a growing awareness of their existence among a niche group of the general public. B. These criminal individuals do not seem aware of the item's paranatural powers and their attempts to activate them could prove devastating if done in populated areas. C. The motivations of these collectors are largely unknown. Unless it's that blessed group, though. 
I can't tell if they would like me to call them the Blessed or the Blessed. Either way, great name for villains. Mm. Is that it for down here? Hi, is that it for down here? So I know there was some upstairs in that room up there, but... I swore I saw one in one of these corner areas, but I could be wrong. And usually am. Okay. Upstairs we go! Uh, there was nothing over there. Correct? Correct. So it's back in the main area. I just pushed shit out of the way. Okay. The Eagle Limited. Oh, this is the train! A train derailment resulting in 62 casualties and numerous injuries was suspected to have been the work of a paranatural group known as Blank. Please be blessed. As a result of this event, the agents discovered that one of the cars had become altered in a persistent auditory event. It remains to be determined whether the AWE was spontaneous or the direct result of the sabotage. Fascinating. Event response. The Bureau had been tracking said group at the time. I think that's what that map was? And the intel gathered suggested an event of this caliber was imminent in Bloomington. I think that's what the map was. As a result, a response team on site was able to respond to the train accident site within minutes of its occurrence. They arrived to find emergency processes underway, but also equipment left behind by the suspected group. A suspicious onlooker managed to elude agents after they attempted to make contact. Further investigation of the accident site revealed a curiously undamaged train car that exhibited an altered state when entered. The individual car was secured and transported to the investigation sector, which we will definitely see at some point in this expansion. Wherever that thing is, we're about to find it and be up inside of it, and I'm so effing excited. Okay. The Shadow. The Shadow knows. That's for, that's for your grandparents, is that reference. Paranatural entity A010, aka the Shadow, is an aggressive blank consisting of three known types. Is this straight up just Alan Wake enemies? Type A, localized manifestations of sentient blank capable of occupying organic and inorganic material as well as exerting blank over its surroundings. Type B, shaded individuals. Human bodies, blank by the shadow, uh, consume taken over, whatever. These individuals become notably more aggressive, but do not seem to retain blank of their previous selves. Research is ongoing as to whether the condition is reversible. Type C, shaded objects. Similar to type B, except that inanimate objects are blank, solely to be used as destructive tools. Each type seems to work towards a shared goal, possibly targeting certain individuals, see AWE35, that's Alan, which may imply a shared link to a blank intelligence. The threat this entity poses warrants immediate exploration of offensive defensive measures. The investigation sector is being outfitted with additional lighting sources, some internally powered, to prepare for the eventuality of a, I assume an incursion? Well, it definitely happened, and it definitely is neat that they're setting up that like, you know, besides the hiss, which are like the sound baddies, there's also the shadow darkness baddies, neat. I love that kind of thing. My understanding of the darkness is fragmented, incomplete. This abyss, this void, it very much does not wish to be understood. If light symbolizes knowledge, then it stands to reason that darkness would equate to ignorance. By its very nature, it abhors comprehension. Of course, my own nature drives me to comprehend all. We are opposing forces, destined to collide. And given this conflict of natures, we know that the light of truth will burn away the darkness, both figuratively and literally. Any significant light source can be used as protection, even weaponry against this metaphysical gloom. And then there are the artists, I know for a fact that Tom, Wake, the Anderson brothers, and Lane all had some involvement with the darkness. The question is whether their uncanny ability to affect reality through their art beckons the darkness, or did their work perhaps even create it? 
With weight now secure in my lodge, I expect I shall grow closer to learning the answers to these questions. Assuming he cooperates, which is proving quite the challenge. Well, perseverance is the foundation of knowledge. Speaking of, I must be off on my rounds. Cool, so this guy's now in here as a twisted monster talking about yum yum orange peels. Great. Can I open this? Ah, I can open it now. Oh, perfect. Is there anything up here? Hello? I guess I I guess that's it. Oh, oh what's that? Was that really glass there? Okay, I think I think we're good. That's a hell of a photo. And it's mirrored here. And then there's two lighthouses. No, oh, no. Well, that's not a lighthouse at all. <laughs> I totally mistook that. That's actually really funny. That is just an updated version of that picture. <laughs> okay. Claim. I was about to make a shocking claim. I was like, a lighthouse? Nope, not even remotely close. Okay. Well, this seems to be like where they set up, so let's go. Oh, boy. Monster? Oh. Oh, no, it's the darkness! Oh, no, it's the Okay, well, they said it was going to happen. It's going to happen. I played this. I know how this works. Stay in the light. I'll unwake this shit. Mmm, child, this is bad news! Okay, so it is kind of pushing me in a direction, huh? I can't go out and explore? Is it going to hurt? I don't want to even test it. Oh, God. There are, there are light sources, though. You can see where you can plug stuff in. Can I find... Oh, is that what I need to do? Is find the... A power supply? Come on, video game, not like this. All right, so I got one jack terminal over there, and that's it, huh? But nothing to. Okay, I'm pressing this. So you don't like the light. I can use that. Slender man ass. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. Like this. Oh, wait, hold on. Like this. Oh, his ass is terrible. Ooh, I see him. Ooh, he's awful. All right, hold on. We'll just skip. Yep. Keep your ass away from me! What do I do? What do I... How do I do this? Uh, oh, okay. So there's a thing right there. Do I have to transfer that to... No, that's bullshit. There's got to be something. All right. All right, this game... This is this is probably the, the test level. <laughs> this is probably that... Easy ass test level where they're like, "Look, we're we're gonna we're gonna give you a bunch this time." Oh, this is assholes. Okay, so we'll go. Stay right here. We'll try to find where to throw again. Oh, thank God, there's a lot of light. Can I go in here? Hello? <laughs> this is so silly. Okay, lot. Of oh, that's darkness. All right, that turned on that. 
The good news is I've got spaces with which I can hide. I've got, oh God, that was me. Okay. Oh, this guy. Oh, this guy sucks. All right, all right. So up there and across the way was a thing. I'm assuming that's the, the hint. The minute you get a little bit in the shadow, it comes after you. I saw that. I am no dummy. All right, across. Woo! No, thank you. All right, let's go up and then. How much more of this? Is th oh my goodness. Okay, all right. I think I need another one. Oh, that guy is right down there being awful. Unless that's the power switch right there. Oh, I think we're good. Okay. Get out of here, you son of a bitch! Look at his awful pale ass! Yeah, how do you like that? I mean, I don't very much like that. Now he's in the vents, Jesse. Oh my God. Although there is stuff to read, that's good. <laughs> oh, cool. Great. Unless this is a note about him and how to shoot his ass dead. Hartman background, maybe it is. Dr. Emil Hartman is an academic psychotherapist that owned and operated a recovery center in blank Washington focused on the treatment of artists struggling with creative blocks and other mental disorders. Publicly, Dr. Hartman's treatment center seemed unremarkable in its methods and purpose. Privately, however, Dr. Hartman was abusing his patients in order to utilize any latent blank abilities they may possess with the aim of shaping blank to his own benefit, which has earned him a class two paracriminal designation. Note, for more on the link between artists and their ability to blank reality through artistic mediums, see File Blank. Investigation has proven Dr. Hartman's illegal endeavors were conducted alone. After being approached by the Bureau during the blank investigation, he displayed no remorse or intention to cease his actions. Dr. Hartman was taken into custody, evaluated, and released? Why would you even months later? Why? Having been deemed a negligible threat, his medical license has been permanently revoked. Why would you? Oh, y'all. You released a clear villain, yet kept a boy in a cell for like 20 years? Great job. Just swell. So that's the down area. I might as well check all the top stuff, right? Just get it out of the way. Might as well. Woo I'll take it. Shaded facet. Clearly serves a purpose in crafting something or other. Who is this? Ah! Old Chester Archibald Crane and Dr. Philip Seymour Muffman. Great guys. Note. This screenplay was found after the Bureau acquired the Night Spring television series and all its past episode scripts. It appears to be written by Alan Wake as part of an application to become one of the show's writers. Uh, episode Over the Threshold Darkly by Alan Wake. It is only human nature to wish to control the forces around us, and even more so to possess them. But what happens when those forces are not ours to claim, or even of this world? What if they are things you can discover in Night Springs? Interior, secret lab, night. We are in a secret lab. The large sign on the wall reads, The Federal Bureau of Night Springs. Scientist. I've told you several times, Director. It isn't ready. Director. It's ready when I say it's ready, Doctor. Scientist. But the being beyond the portal. We have no control over it. Again. This takes me back to my episode one question. Does the Bureau exist? The Bureau that seemingly popped into being, does it exist because Alan Wake created it? 
Got a lot of questions about that. Just putting it out there. I don't know that we have answers. This is like a chicken and the egg kind of thing, I feel, but just putting it out there. All right, so this is where I first came in at. Mm-hmm. And this is the down area for this. Oh my God. What are we about to get into? Arcade machine. Shum? Shum. Shim? <laughs> Shum. Shum. Whatever. Oh, I can't play Shum 2? But I can play Shum. Shut up. Is this real? Crowd control? De Crowd control. Oh no. Oh no. Why am I doing this? <laughs> the goal of crowd control is to survive. Good luck. All right. Well. Bye! Ah! F you! Hey, hey, hey! Guys, 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 guys! Come on. Enough of that. Sons of bitches! God, keep it down! Oh! I got too focused on the one screaming at me. Look, the one that screams at me is terrifying. You'd be, you be, you be worried too. For 1989, that game got graphics. That game got them good graphics. Well, now I know there's a thing that exists. Uh-oh. Now I know there's a thing that exists that definitely is for achievements, and I'll look it up later. Oh, boy. That's going to be an event. Remind me it was here, in the room where I scared myself. It really wasn't that bad. It gave me plenty of outs. It was like it said, okay, here's the mechanics of how you fight this guy, but it really wasn't too bad. Oh, 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 excuse me. I'd like to read that. No, Jesse, we just got to go one more down. There we go. Uh, hello? All right, box. You need to get out the way. Move, box. How do I, how do I read that? Oh, there we go. Oh, we're back at the Ocean View Motel. Okay, an excursion into the Ocean View Motel and Casino discovered a previously unseen door in the lobby hallway. This door featured a spiral-shaped marking designation door blank. Similar to the other doors, it is locked and cannot be forced open. Alice Wake, a person of interest in the Bright Falls AWE, refer to AWE 35 for details, and former wife of missing author Alan Wake, a suspected para-utilitarian and blank, Contacted Agent Shaw and Dempsey of the investigation sector using the phone number given to her in 2010 in accordance with the civilian outreach protocols. The call resulted in Mrs. Wake being brought into the oldest house for an in-person interview. For full transcript, refer to file blank on blank 2017. The incursion into the Ocean View Motel occurred later the same day. Conclusion. Oh, I was wondering how that fit in. Determining whether this is a basic synchronicity event, if Alice Wake is responsible for its appearance, or if the door itself relates to AWE 35 is paramount. She should be returned to the oldest house, possibly even taken to the motel itself to confirm if any other changes occur. Let's call her up right now. If anyone's experienced with this, it is super her. Call up Alice, be like, hey girl, uh, I think we got him. Vending machine. 
None known. Ah, the vending machine that exists <laughs> that for some reason is just like always weird to me? Yes. Okay, a vending machine, it's front covered with faux wood panel coin operated buttons for selecting food products. The item generates and stores a variety of material, both edible and otherwise, in its rows of internal trays. Initial tests suggest the item reacts to the mind of the individual at close proximity and will produce whatever they subconsciously desire. Attempts to cause the item to create living blank have consistently failed. The item was discovered in a nursing home in Blank, Alberta, after a resident named Muriel Blank called a local news station to report a magic vending machine. The news story reported that the nursing home staff was purposefully stocking the machine with distinctive foods and objects as a way to raise residents' spirits. The bureau response team encouraged the story while confiscating the item. So what about all of the ones I've seen? Are all of them it? Oh wait, wait a minute. Did they use the thing that multiplies them on the vending machines? So all the vending machines are, am I gonna find that note where they're like, what if we use the clock that multiplies shit and we multiply the vending machines. Is the clock the thing that does it? Or was the clock just the symptom? The symptom, the outcome, you know what I mean. I think that's it. I think we good. I can't get up there. Whoa, maybe I can. Do I even try? No. Maybe, hold on, hold on. You know what, we have to sometimes try these things. All right, so this is a little higher up. Thank you. All right, and then, no, there's no way. There's no way. Okay, well, up we go. Man, what are you doing in investigations? Jesus, don't scare me like that. If you're talking right now, I can't hear you. It's a one-way system. Try to find an intercom. Woo! We in it now! Oh, I am excited. Okay, intercom. Langston, it's me, Jesse. I know. I can see you on the monitors. The cameras in there haven't worked since we sealed that sector off a couple years back. Let me guess. You sealed it because of the monster guy. Wait, did you see Dr. Hartman? Jesus, I really wish you hadn't opened that fire break. Okay, listen, you need to find Hartman and kill him before he gets out into the Bureau. That thing is a person? He was a person. We brought him here to study after he was, uh, oh, altered in an AWE. I forget the medical word for what happened, but now light physically hurts him. Do you have a flashlight? No. Uh, a lantern? Headlamp. Oh, yeah, flare gun. Oh, Christmas lights. You could wrap them around your... I don't have any of those, Langston. Shit. Okay, uh, well, I'm sure you'll think of something. <laughs> keep an eye on you from the Panopticon. This is kind of exciting, right? Maybe from where you're standing. Right, okay. Well, uh, break a leg. Oh, why did I say that? Okay, this Hartman <laughs> thing can't have gotten very far. Let's go flush him out. Hmm. Langston was right. This is kind of exciting. It's just nice to have someone to talk to. Oh no, you know? Langston. Ever since I got put in charge of the Panopticon, people treat me different. Like I'm crazy for wanting to work with altered items. People just don't understand the altered items like I do, you know? I don't want to brag, but it does take a very empathetic mind to connect with the items. Doesn't Still, want I don't to know brag. why people are making it so personal. <laughs> right. I mean, the teams in research handle paranatural materials every day, and no one thinks they're weird. Well, maybe that's not true. Darling is famous for being a bit out there, but when he's weird, it's charming. Altered items really aren't that frightening once you get to know them. If you figure out what they like or don't like, you know, what sets them off, then there's nothing to worry about. I guess at the end of the day, we're still just wild animals scared of our own shadows. We're supposed to be on the same team, but sometimes it feels like it's every department for themselves, like it's a race, and we're all trying to be number one. I don't know which one to go to first. Race, though, I'd say Darling is a mile ahead of everyone else. 
He was Trench's golden boy for years, but that relationship has gotten pretty tense, or so I've heard through the grapevine. Not that I spread rumors, just, you know, people talk. Not me, though. I keep my nose to the grind. Too much work to do to focus on those kinds of things. I need to stay focused so I can get my work done and get home to feed Alfred. He's of course, talk for I always make it home for me. <laughs> so I have my neighbor check in on Alfred at 7 o'clock if I'm not back yet. She's very nice. Her name is Maria. She's older. She came to New York in the How long does this go on? How long since. could this possibly go she on? She had a couple of kids. I met them at Thanksgiving. Big family. Very nice people. Anyway, she has a key to my apartment. She gives Alfred his dinner if I'm not home. I'm gonna have to buy her a nice fruit arrangement as a thank you after this. I'm missing a lot of Alfred's meal times. She's probably gonna have to go to the store for more wet food. I'll have to remember to pay her back. Hold on, let me make a note. Pay back Maria for Alfred. <laughs> They're testing me. I'm gonna win this. I'm winning this. Okay. And buy her a fruit. You can't fool me, game. I'm sticking to the end. I'm sticking to the end. All right. Done. Are you a cat person? I don't think I ever asked. You seem like one, though. <laughs> like Alfred, he's very proper. Really carries himself well, you know? I named him after my favorite poet. Felt like a good fit. I got Alfred just before Sylvia died when I was at the... Huh. You know, I don't really remember where I got Alfred from. But, boy, those two did not <laughs> get along. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Sylvia thought she owned the place. Didn't like me getting in her way. Scratched me more than once when I was just trying to move her food bowl. That cat was a real asshole. Wow. I'm realizing now that that That's language is not entirely um, professional. You see, Sylvia didn't tolerate. <laughs> How is this still going? How is this still going? Or anything. And that's what I meant when I said asshole. I would never use that word about a person. It was just, uh, you know, uh, hey, there's a light flashing on the console here. I got to, uh, check this out. I'll get back to you later. Real smooth, Langston. <laughs> I beat you, game! I listened to the whole thing! All of it! You can't stop me! All of it! Okay, uh, I don't know if the Frau Morrow or the Eagle Limited, but the Eagle Limited, I know that's the train. So I feel like that's the way to go, right? I don't remember what that one was over there, and we can't go there yet, so I guess here we go. And it's lit, so I'm feeling good. F feeling fine about this. And down we go. Actually, nothing. You know I had to check. All right, it was kind of lit. A little worried about what this could do to us, but it's, it's good. It's fine. It's getting darker. Okay, well. It's making noises. But what is in the light seems good. You know, where's the payoff? Bring the strippers and boots! We do occasionally talk about video games. Bring the strippers and boots! Out of that time of video games. Bring the strippers and boots! Oh, thank God, I don't need pants now. Hey, JC! What are you doing? Not much. Making a fortune. It's a professional broadcast. Yeah, now sing music. It's a professional broadcast. Bring the strippers and boots. It's a professional broadcast. Now here to ask and answer one simple question. It's a professional broadcast. You got 